Hey, good morning from Hawaii. This is Scott Hammond, the author of The Everyday Dad, The Guide to Becoming a Better Father, available on Amazon.com, talking to you today about goal setting. How can you successfully employ good goal setting in your life? Well, my dad gave me this Tommy Hopkins uh, cassette series a hundred years ago, and it had a goal setting guide in it. He challenged me. He said, write your goals down. I said, okay, I'll do it. And one day, I started achieving these goals and started new ones, and pretty soon we're on a roll. So I want to encourage you today and show you some evidence why you might want to look at doing that and how to do that. So let's start with this. Did you know that Yale did a study in 1953 and they found out that only about 5% of Americans retired with enough money and resources to have a, a comfortable retirement? That's the other 95% did not. And what they found with the 5% is that they set goals. They set achievable yet challenging goals for their lives and they were able to retire comfortably. So what I want to talk to you about secondarily is finding those chief goals, those number one things that you want to do first. Uh, maybe that's low hanging fruit, maybe it's what you're most passionate about. And do what Brian Tracy says and that is eat the frogs. In other words, do the hard ones first. Get the hard goals out of the way uh, initially and out of the gate and then retire those and then you can move on to easier ones and replace them with new ones. So let's talk about 10 successful goal setting criteria. Number one, goals must be written. They gotta write them down. Number two, goals must be yours. You gotta own them. Number three, goals need to be positive. They can't be negative goals. They've gotta be something stated and lived in the positive. Number four, goals must be specific and measurable. They have to have timelines, they have to be you have to have specificity. That's my 25 cent word today, specificity. Specifically outlining what needs to be done. Number five, they need to be stated in inflation proof terms, meaning um, I want to gain 2% on my savings when it's a 10% market. Make them inflation proof. Number six, they need to be stated in the most visible terms available. Give your goals color. When you write them down, use adjectives and adverbs and describe your goals in full color. Number seven, they need a deadline, again, timely. Number eight, the goals need to allow for personality changes. You can change your goals because you're human and your interests change. Your, your interests evolve and you get interested in different things, so you can change your goals. And number nine, they need to be interrelated, um, they need to contain an interrelated statement of benefits. In other words, in the goal, state the benefit to you. I will lose weight so that I will feel better. And then number 10, they need to be realistic and attainable. You need to have attainable goals, not crazy things. I want to be president of the United States. They need to be achievable yet challenging. So set some goals today. Make your life all that you need it to be. Plan your work. Work your plan. Because if you fail the plan, you're planning to fail. Scott Hammond, the author of The Everyday Dad, The Guide to Becoming a Better Father available on Amazon.com. And by the way, I have this goal-setting uh, strategic workbook that you can get on becomeabetterfather.com, uh, absolutely free. Just go download the PDF, and it's yours absolutely for free. And uh, go grab that today. Becomeabetterfather.com, everydaydad.com. Have a great goal-setting day, every day.